so hi everyone there is a big news coming from google where they have released a data science agent in google collab that too for free which can now build out any sort of data science pipeline can do data analysis for you given just the data set so you just need to upload your data set write your prompt the problem statement and rest of the things would be taken care by the data science agent i just try it out and it is looking amazingly good beware data scientist and data analyst to be honest it is very very easy to use so let's get started let's see a particular demo so first of all you need to open google collab now as you can see here we are getting an option analyze files with gemini so here you just need to upload your data set as you can see i will be uploading ev vehicle population data set for us and then you need to provide your prompt here draw out some important insights from this data set now just see the magic now it is telling me the entire process it will be following data loading data exploration data cleaning data analysis visualization finish task it is asking me to execute the plan yes now as you can see it is asking for some warning also are you sure that you want to continue continue now what will happen here as you see it is executing the plan something is coming written here let's see what it does as you can see the execution has started now task draw out some important insights from this data set it has first data loading as you can see it has written the codes for pandas it is showing the data sets so the first step is correct now it is going to data exploration now this is the interesting part which is coming here pretty good as you can see it is providing multiple things ki why i am writing this data set also this particular code it is showing the percentage of missing values top 5 most frequent values top 5 most frequent values for ev type data cleaning is happening now clean the data by handling missing values and inconsistencies imputing missing values for legislative district electric range base msp etc this is quite interesting i think it can give you an 80 to 90% of the solution and at times even 100% of the solution i'm not sure as you can see here data analysis is going on and is showing out some insights to us average base msrp by model year now coming to data visualization and this is all free do remember this i am not using a paid subscription of collab so this is looking dangerous not just beautiful and i need to consider my job again now being a data scientist not has been able to give us a plot as well looks very interesting to be honest data visualization is going on it is giving a summary also and this is the final answer that i wish to have so it is giving a data analysis key finding so it is able to read the plots whatever analysis has done and come out with issues also dominant makes and models tesla vehicles are highly prevalent with model y being the most common model geographical concentration electric vehicle distribution is concentrated in washington particularly in king county this is something next level to be honest because i just wrote a single prompt and now everything is automated for me and this is completed now let us try out building a regression model as well build a regression model on base msrp and calculate important metrics for regression so what the team has suggested is to take up a new window every time you go for a problem statement as you can see this is the steps it would be following pretty accurate i would say let me execute the plan we'll do a continue and let's wait for the magic so as you can see the process has started again it is loading it will be passing through all these particular steps that we have asked it to execute so this will take some time i really wish to see whether it is able to create a decent enough regression model or not the hyperparameter would be an important aspect here i think that we can could have mentioned it but i want to see what it gives in one shot it is doing some 
analysis also some error has come here okay so it's not bug free completely it can explain the error okay no worries let's see what it builds next so right now some data exploration part it is on the second step i think soon it would be coming on to the data cleaning part as mentioned clean the base msrp column and other relevant columns in the data frame so okay it is following some logic here as you can see fill na with median this is good i think it is able to pull out that it should be getting filled with median values pd to numeric so you can see some codes are getting ran i wish to see the last metric what it produces so data prep is going on now this is still fast i would say this is still quite fast because it is coding every the it is coding the entire pipeline right so and executing it as well as you can see the codes are getting executed uh, on the fly so the entire code snippet has to be correct this is something phenomenal that google has released and it doesn't require you to pay also it is available for google gemini uh 2 model and i think for you don't require a collab paid version as well so this is the best part now it is going for data set split some error has come here as well okay okay the least populated class is why has only one member which is too few let's see let's see where it goes i don't want to uh intervene in between i want to see what it builds in one shot not has started training the model some error has come here as well okay so model dot fit has not executed properly so it is not error free that was one thing i think it will get stuck here it is again throwing some error okay okay so now it is getting stuck in some loop fortunately it is throwing some error i'm quite happy now else i was a little scared that now i need to look out for something else it is now into the third iteration automatically just see the flow so if model training is not working out it is on its own using the previous error trying to revamp the logic so this is something very interesting that the team has done x train is empty after pre processing can't train the model again some error has came in let's see whether it is able to do something or not automatically or do i need to intervene again the same error so quite a decent attempt i would say but still it is not able to completely automate but i think i would still take it up the attempt was quite good it is able to give you 80 to 90% of the entire pipeline minor issues you need to see as you can see it is struggling high time now i will stop it but still a good attempt i think for basic analysis or basic model building this should be a go to tool and as being it being free i think any day you should try it out this is worth trying out and the era of generative ai and ai agent has begun now thank you so much